doing. Happy Saturday, happy Saturday. This is um, Brother West. This is Brother West this day. I'm doing pretty good. Mouth is doing good. Tooth is doing good. I feel good, actually. Feel good, feel good. On, on, my, medic, uh, on my medication uh, for the pain killing and the antibiotics and stuff like that. Uh, but other than that, all is well, all is well. Uh, there's something that there's something that I want to just just speak on briefly, if I can Bri speak on briefly, and it's a um, uh, it's a matter of um, obedience. It's a matter of obedience. It's a matter of recognizing um, what's of God and what's not of God. And the Scripture tells us to abstain from the very uh, appearance of evil, but also to lay aside every weight. To lay aside, to 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 put down, to cut away, to separate yourself from every weight and sin that does so easily beset you. That's just like when you have extra weight, extra baggage, and you're on a journey. Oftentimes, on this journey, it, the journey will be more difficult because of the excess weight. But when you begin to just dump weight and dump things that are heavy on you, you'll find yourself becoming more lighter. You look at it uh, like with cars. So anytime you buy a, a car, the value of it depreciates the depreciates time you buy it. And so and so what I want to I want to talk about investment. I want to uh, talk about briefly uh, make sure make sure make sure that um, hey baby uh, make sure that uh, the things that you invest in, make sure that the things that you're, you are agreed to don't destroy or don't dis, uh, lessen your value. Don't lessen your value, but enhance your value. Even, even in a relationship, even in a relationship, even in a relationship, if you're in a relationship and that person is fighting against what you're trying to do. You're not on no kind of agreement. But it's always a agreement. The scripture said, a house divided against itself will not stand. And so many of you that listen to me, you're trying to fix things. You're trying to uh, make things work in your relationship. You're trying to make things work in your union, but it, it, it appears as though you're the only one. You don't know when it's trying. You don't know when it's trying to do stuff. You don't know when it's trying to fix stuff. At some point, at some point, the other person has to be willing, has to be willing and able to sacrifice in order to make sure that things go a certain kind of way. Because in any kind of union or any kind of relationship, there has to be a sacrifice. And a sacrifice, there's going to come a time where you will become uncomfortable. That's going to come a time when you're uncomfortable. But it's in those uncomfortable times that things are being produced. Just like in a relationship, in a relationship, those people who say, well, uh, me and my person, me and my spouse, me and my whoever, we don't argue. We don't have a disagreement. Well, I have a problem with that because the thing that makes a people or a couple uh, or a union closer is controversy. It's a disagreement. Because what happens when you disagree, when you have a, uh, a difference of opinion, then you bump heads, then you got to talk about it. And then once you talk about it, those things that are deep in your heart and deep in your mind that you've been wanting to say, but you, you couldn't say it unless you get angry, they come out. And then once they come out, you recognize it. You recognize it. And so uh, I will say communicate. It's very important to communicate. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time in silence because silence is not love. Silence is punishment. If you're keeping everything to yourself and you're allowing stuff to run up the top and down the bottom of you and people talk to you any kind of way and you ain't saying nothing, that's your own fault. See, because that's not love. Because eventually, you're going you're gonna to have resentment from that person, from those people. So it's very important to be careful of who you associate with, be careful of um, who who uh, who you're with, who you call yourself falling in love with. I heard a rumor uh, the other day about a certain um, sports analyst, two sports analysts, and don't know how true it is, but you know the old saying that where there's smoke, there's fire. 
And basically, uh, these two people, the rumor has, and actually what happened, the husband has filed for a divorce because the rumor has it that this big time uh, ESPN um, speaker and the uh, another associate, um, they have some kind of, um, they have some kind of a private relationship. And so, and, and so, and, and for that reason, he filed. And so, it's, it's so important, it's so important to know the person you're with. It's so important to understand the person with. And so it's because you have to you have to have a a a a, a real close relationship. You gotta have you gotta communicate. It's very important to communicate because the thing about marriage, marriage there's gonna be ups, there's gonna be downs. Even the scripture says for better, for worse, sickness and health. There's times where you can have disagreements. And the, the dangerous thing if your relationship isn't strong and 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 if you if you're working with someone, especially of the opposite sex, where we're in, most of the time, oftentimes, you're not going to have no disagreements. It's always going to be fun. It's always going to be happy. And so what happens, you will develop some type of friendship or you will develop some type of connection or whatever. But you have to be careful of that connection because it's not real. It's not real. That connection is not real. And, you know, you have to make sure. You have to make sure. Uh, you have to make sure that you communicate. You have to make sure that you're in agreement. You have to make sure that there's understanding. You have to make sure. And if you make sure and just trust God, and the scripture says, uh, the scripture lets us know that uh, when you put God first, uh, when you put God first uh, in your family, in your union, he's going to be the ruler of your life. He's going to be the ruler of your union. A house divided against itself uh, shall not stand. And so, it's so important to be careful. Be careful who you marry. Be careful who you get in relationship with, with because it's not the good. See, see, what brings a person or people close together, it's not the fun times, not always the fun times. But what brings people together oftentimes is the, the problems. It's the friction. But if you can get past the problems, the, the friction, and work through that, then that's what Makes your union strong. And so is that all right? See my little one, she's a little busy. She's a little busy. God bless you.